I just never would have imagined that a little coffee bean would have made its way from Salt Creek to the West Village. <laughs> Really, the brand is, is an honor of you. You must know that. I'm so flattered. I couldn't be more proud of you. I work in jewelry, and you worked in jewelry, and we have this common story of the shells. Do you remember the day you found these shells? I actually have them here. Oh my gosh. Yep, those are the shells. It's a jewel. Yeah. It's the story of us. You took me to the beach. You, I remember you telling me that you and your friends would go looking for coffee bean shells after school and how hard it was. So I remember when I, I think I was about nine when we went thinking I would be part of your your little group of friends. And, well, that's, that yeah. is sort of what it is. is we just love so much the hours on the beach and shell hunting and finding coffee beans. And then when you did, it was just so perfect. Sometimes there are memories that mm. really do resonate. You know, in the, the 60s and 70s, shell necklaces, hookah shell necklaces, were just an essential piece of our wardrobe. I mean, you wore them surfing, you wore them to sleep, you wore them to school. I mean, your collection of shell necklaces was really, really um, important. And it's so wonderful to just be able to keep wearing the shell necklaces um, all our life, really. I really just wanted to take that beach and surf culture vibe and elevate it for my life here in New York. So I could take it with me every day and hold it close. So when I wanted to start my own line, I, it's really, it came so naturally that that would be the root of it, to elevate this, this family history that is so quintessentially Southern California. The crux of these shells are the emotional power they have. And a lot of that is imbued when you give a gift to somebody else. These are modern luxury artifacts meant to be passed down from generation to generation.